We can all think of video games we hate, maybe even a few we love to hate. Titles that should have stayed in pre-production phase and never been released. Games that leave you wondering, how did anyone think this was a good idea? In this video, I'm going to play what has been widely considered to be the worst video game in the history of video games. It is E.T. the Extraterrestrial for the Atari 2600. This is obviously an adaptation of the movie. It was released in 1982 and can be emulated in a web browser from the link below. Before I play it, I should probably talk about the game's objective and its legacy in the game world. You play as the alien character from the film trying to collect pieces of an interplanetary phone in order to call home, although that's not obvious from playing the game. Because the rights to make the game were secured very late in 1982, the developer had only five and a half weeks to build it. What followed was a monumental commercial and critical failure, and this game is often cited as being a major factor in causing the video game industry crash of 1983. Because of overproduction of game cartridges and returns, Atari had millions of unsold cartridges buried in landfill in New Mexico. These were recently dug up again, and the cartridges are now worth a hell of a lot of money to the right collector. The gameplay was lambasted as bad, impressively bad in fact. The repetitive nature of the game was much bemoaned by critics calling it monotonous. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, let's do this. The worst video game of all time. E.T. The Extraterrestrial, this is the title screen, the music sounds somewhat accurate to the movie. Well, I've been transported to... is this a green wooded area? And I can move back and forth. Okay. Okay, simple and basic. I can forgive simple and basic, it's 1982. I mean, Frogger, Pac-Man... Okay. I've fallen in a hole. Some sort of pit thing. What is this? Is it an arrow or something? Okay. Okay, so, okay. Uh, so I can, there is another button I can press, which is, what does that do? Made my neck lock. Oh, okay, so I can fly now? He could fly in the movie, couldn't he? Okay, uh, okay, so I'm back in the woods. So just go a diff- oh, okay, stay away from him, let's go up. And I fall in the hole again, because that made sense. Okay, there's gotta be something redeemable about this. Like I said, I'm, I may have spoken too soon there, to be fair. Okay. Seriously. Is there another way out of here? Can I go down? Oh, okay. Let's, let's just try fly up again. Okay, St what does he want? What are these shapes? What are these shapes? I've no idea what's happening now. What is happening now? I'll do the thing where I fly out again. Okay, uh, what is this? I don't know what that did. I think these, these are the pieces I'm supposed to collect for the telephone. Oh, I can run. Look, I can run. Oh, that's handy. What are these shapes? Are they all the same? Do they all do the same thing? If I go in there, what? What is that? What is that? How? Explain how that works. What am I supposed to do down here? Is this some sort of a bonus stage or something? I don't see any purpose of it. Who? What does he want to do? I should feel I should need to run away from him. I'm gonna keep running away from him. So these, avoid the slightly darker green areas. Collect the little bricks. There's numbers mounting up on the bottom. I don't know what they mean. Oh, better run again, avoid him. What? But, but I avoided the, the darker green things. Why am I still falling into the pit then? Okay, 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 what? No! Okay, so, uh, we got a guy here. He looks, he's, looks like he's done nothing, and... And then we got this miner guy with a white coat on. He looks like he's got a miner's helmet. I'm gonna run from you, you're not gonna catch me. Hey! There we go, I can run. Okay, I think I'm getting better at this. I'm getting better at this. 
I'm definitely getting the hang of it. He spoke too soon. Okay. Let's go up again. Come on. I'm not going to give up on this game. I may give up on this game. Okay. <laughs> that happens again. I swear to God. What? How did that? That doesn't make any sense. Because when I... That's not the right screen. These these screens are not in... They're not in any way coherent at all. It's just completely random when you move from one side of the screen to the next. What is he doing? What does he... This is new. Am I dead? Is that game over? Why is this a prison? Oh, I can just walk out of it. It's not much of a prison, is it? Okay. So I'll just carry on as I was. I can't collect that now for some reason. This is, this is the, oh, this is the game. So that's the whole game. The game that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Who thought this was a good idea? Who said, yeah, we'll sign off on that, release that, they'll love it. This is disgusting. This game was made purely off the basis of a movie and they just thought that they could sell on the, on the title alone. It could have been called anything. This couldn't have less to do with the, the E.T. the extraterrestrial movie. It couldn't have less to do with it. What? Can I go into this house? What happens if I go in here? No. He just buggers off then. Does, can I go in here? No, doesn't do anything. Okay, okay. Okay, guys, this, this game that is called E.T., but in fact has nothing to do with it, uh, I'm going to stop playing now because um, there may be therapy needed if I continue to do so. But if you want to uh, play this game and enjoy it with a certain sense of irony, uh, you, can, <laughs> you can click on the link below in the description. I am very interested in, however, what you believe to be the worst game of all time. Let me know what games you absolutely loathe, games that you think should never have been made, games that you can't understand how they ever saw the light of day. This is certainly one of them. Thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe for more, and I will catch you next time. Oh, God.